Okay, welcome to Electron Online, and here's another example of how to deal with volume expansion due to the increase in temperature of objects. Now let's say here that we have a steel box, but it's open, and it's completely filled with ethanol, and we raise the temperature from 20 degrees centigrade to 80 degrees centigrade, and then the question is how much of that ethanol will spill over. The reason why ethanol will spill over is that the expansion of the liquid ethanol is much greater than the expansion of the steel, so that as they both heat up, the steel will not expand enough to contain the increase in volume of the ethanol, and so the extra will spill over. The question is how much of that will spill over. Now you can imagine if we had made a complete enclosed box and filled it with ethanol and heated it up, you would have a problem because the ethanol will expand more than the steel and then probably the expansion of the ethanol may burst open the steel and of course everything would then you know, spill out that way. But uh, let's just assume that we play it safe, we have an open box stop and um, we fill it with ethanol, we heat it up, how much of that liquid will be uh, spilling over the box. So what we're going to do first is find the change in the volume for the steel. And the change in the volume would, of course, be the original volume times 1 plus 3 times the linear coefficient of expansion times the change in the temperature. Okay, and of course, this would be the coefficient of linear expansion of steel, which I have over there in the corner. Uh, the original volume. Okay, now it would help if I gave you original volume. So let's say that this is uh, 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. And so that, let's say that's the original length of the box. All right, so that means that the volume would be 10 times 10 times 10, which would be 1,000 cubic centimeters. 1,000 centimeters cubed times 1 plus 3 times 11 times 10 to the minus 6 per centigrade degree times a change in the temperature from 20 to 80. That would be 60 centigrade degrees. All right. Hmm, I think I need a... A bracket right here. There we go. That's better. And now we don't need this. There. Looks a little cleaner. All right. So 11e6 minus times 60 times 3 plus 1 equals. So that would be equal to 1,000 cubic centimeters times 1.00198. So multiply times 1,000 equals, and so that would be equal to 1,001.98 centimeters cubed. So in, in essence, the increase of the box in volume is about 2 cubic centimeters. So how much would the ethanol increase with the same temperature change? So we could say that the volume uh, uh, change is equal to 1 plus beta times delta t. So in the case of the um, of course, and then we have to multiply times the uh, original volume. So the delta V, the change in the volume, is equal to the original volume times 1 plus beta delta T. Now, and let me write ethanol here, so for ethanol. Okay, now what I did here is I used the volume coefficient of expansion instead of the linear coefficient of expansion because usually for liquids they don't give you the linear, they only give you the volume. Uh, if, for example, we want to find the volume of steel like we did here, then we, of course, take the linear coefficient of expansion and multiply by 3. We don't have to do it in the equation over there. So the original volume, the same, 1,000 cubic centimeters. We multiply that times 1 plus beta, which is now 75 times 10 to the minus 5 per centigrade degree. Multiply times 60 centigrade degrees, and that should give us the new volume. And I keep doing this, don't I? There we go. We'll put a box around it like that. Okay, bracket. So that would be uh, 75e to the 5 minus times 60 plus 1 equals. And so this is equal to 1,000 cubic centimeters multiplied times 1.0045. And looking at this alone, notice that this was 1.00198. This is 1.0045. So you can see that the Multiplication factor is quite a bit larger for the ethanol. If we now go ahead and multiply the times 1,000, we can see that this is equal to 1,004.5 cubic centimeters. So you can see that the, um, this is not really the change in the volume. This is actually the new volume, V final, 
v final. So I really, um, all of a sudden I realize I'm not giving you the change, I'm actually giving you the final volume. To get the change, I should have subtracted it from the final volume. But we can then see that the delta v here for the steel is equal to 1,000 minus this, or 1.98 cubic centimeters. That's the change here. And here you can see that the change, the delta V, is the change, the difference between this and 1,000, or 4.5 cubic centimeters. So notice that the ethanol expanded more than the steel, and that extra will then spill over. So how much will spill over? Well, this will be equal to the change in the volume of the ethanol, which is 4.5 cubic centimeters, minus the change in the volume of the steel, which is 1.98 centimeters cubed. And of course, we take the difference, 4.5 minus 1.98 equals, and 2.52 cubic centimeters of ethanol will spill over the edge of the box uh, when we heat up from 20 to 80 degrees centigrade. And that's how you work out a problem like that.